so ladies and gentlemen i again welcome you in the playlist of optical lab and dispensing in the previous videos we have discussed many concepts we have learned many concepts regarding the dispensing and optical lab and particularly this video is about the practical demonstration of the le420 auto hr so let's go in the optical lab now first of all we will learn about the different settings and different parts of this auto hr now first we will give a power supply and you see our auto hr is powered on and now we will discuss about the different parts of this auto hr as you can see these two knobs and these two knobs are for the water supply we have a water tank beneath this machine to make the lens wet now these two metals are to grip the lens in a straight position right and now as you can see here we have a wheel which has different metal materials as you can see if i can zoom now you can see this wheel the first wheel this wheel is very rough to touch this is very hard so this wheel is helpful to cut the lens this is for the cutting of the lens the rough cutting of the lens because this is very hard this is very rough right and next to this this is somehow comparatively smooth and this smooth wheel is to grind the lens right and next to this you can see this is a depression over here a line over here as you can see this line a depression so this depression or this line is for the beveling of the lens i will tell you i will inform you about the bevel in coming few minutes right and now these two lens sorry these two wheels these are very smooth so these two wheels are for finishing of the lens we have another bevel you can see this line over here this line this is for the beveling as well now this is for the pattern right to fix the pattern over here we have a pattern as you can see this is pattern or you can see the demo lens the dummy lens and we can fix our demo lens or pattern over here i can see you in a better angle as you can see this is a demo lens or dummy lens right or the pattern and we can fix it over here right so this is for the pattern and this is to grip the pattern over here and there is another important thing which is very important as you can see this is pattern and this is the outer surface of the lens as you can see this is convex surface right this is convex surface and this is concave surface right if you want to make the lens of the right eye or if you want to make the lens of the right side of the spectacles you have to put the convex side of the dummy lens or the pattern in outer side right we can fix it like this if you want to make the lens of the right eye then the convex surface of the lens would be in the outer side right and if you want to make the lens of the left eye then we have to put the concave side this concave side right this concave side in the outer direction like this and then we will fix it now what this knob is about this knob is about that how much weight you want to put on the lens or or you can say how fast you want to glaze your lens or how fast you want to cut your lens right you can fix it here over here you can fix it at this position or you can fix it at this position as well right and if i put at this position the weight on the lens over here the weight on the lens will be increased right and the lens will cut very rapid fashion right and if i put more weight if i put this knob over here at this position the weight on the lens will be more and more increased and the lens will cut in a very very rapid fashion but this is dangerous so we have to put in its optimum position so now we will learn about the different settings of the auto hr we will start from here as you can see this is 
mode we can fix it over here and we can fix it at here as well right so if you want this mode is about that you want to make a full frame right or you want to make a three piece or rimless or half rimless so if you want to make a full frame spectacles if you want to make a full frame sunglasses then you have to put your mode at this right i can zoom it for you at this position right and if you want to make a three piece if you want to make a rimless or half rimless then you have to change your settings over here at this position so this is about the mode this is for the full frame the green light is on at this so this is for the full frame and this is for the half rimless or the rimless or the three piece and next to that you can see over here this is pc this is gl or this is cr right this is about the lens that which type of lens which type of material you want to cut you want to make if you want to make glass the gl is stand for glass right so if you want to make a glass then you have to put your setting over here the green light is on gl for glass and if you want to make a plastic lens then you select the cr right the cr39 you know and if you want to make the polycarbonate the setting would be over here and you have to keep it in mind an important thing to remember that if you will select the polycarbonate then the water supply over there will be stopped right as we can see these knobs are for the water supply these water supply would be stopped if we select the polycarbonate this is about the lens size and right now the setting of the machine is at 0.00 you can see right this is minus this is plus as well so this lens size is about that as you can see we have discussed about the pattern we have discussed about the dummy or the demo lens over here so if i want to make a new lens right accord exactly according to my the my pattern or my demo lens then i have to select the setting at 0.00 right if i want a new lens exactly same as my pattern right so i have to put 0.00 setting right if the but remember if the calibration of your machine is fine if the calibration of your machine is good is accurate then 0.00 mean your new lens will come out exactly at the same size as the pattern right and if i somehow increase like if i go at 1.00 as you can see then 1.00 this is plus we have moved in plus direction so it means that if i moved in plus direction and the value is 1.00 then it means my new lens will come out after cutting after glazing about 1 mm increased in size as compared to the pattern right and if i go 2.00 in plus direction then it means my new lens will cut about 2 mm increased in size as the pattern right and if i go behind in the minus direction then it means this is minus 1.00 then my new lens will come out with decreased in size right the size with will be reduced about 1 mm right minus 1.00 means the new lens will come out with the size of 1 mm reduced as the pattern right and if i go at minus 2 then it means my new lens will be reduced in size 2 mm as the dummy lens or the demo lens or the pattern right i hope you understand now we will move in next settings as you can see over here this is the test button right the test setting first of all when you powered on your machine 
first of all you will put your finger at test button right this is to test the machine that it's working normally or not if the water supply is coming normally or not if the power supply is coming normally or not so if i put this test button on you can see the water supply is fine right the power supply is fine so it means that my machine is working perfectly now the next is this v button and you have to remember i'll explain the v button in next few minutes with the bevel you can see this is a full frame right and you can clearly see a depression in every full frame right so we need to cut this new lens in such a way so it can fix in this full frame accurately right in this depression so it can set itself in this depression this is called the bevel i'll explain it later so first of all we will get the power of the lens and we will mark the axis we have a detailed video on this digital lensometer so we will put the lens over here as you can see the power is 2.75 with minus one cylinder and we will mark this circle we will move the circle at the central position so we can gain our optical center so our power is minus 2.75 as you can see over here cylinder is minus 1 and our axes are 71 more or less 70 now we will mark the axis so as you can see we have marked the axis these are 70 axis right so this is called the lens blocker right and if you want you know these are our axis as you can see this straight line these three dots representing the 70 axis and this is blocker and if you want to mark and if you want to gain the 100% accurate axis then you put this blocker very accurately right as you can see this metal line this metal line in the blocker should be 100% aligned with this axis line if you put in in this way if you put in such a way if you put in such direction then the axis would be changed so this is very very important thing that your metal of this blocker this line of the blocker should be 100% aligned with the axis line right so i will fix this blocker like this as you can see the line of the blocker is 100% aligned with the line of the axis and now in the same way i will put this blank will adjust over here we have adjusted our blank and now you can see these buttons and i will put so my lens is fixed this chuck buttons right so i have fixed my blank over here with the accurate axis now again i will check re check my all settings my i want to make the right eye lens so the convex side should be in the outer direction so i will put it in such a way right so this is for the right eye now i want to make a full frame so i will come over here right my lens is not polycarbonate my lens is simple i will zoom it so my lens is not polycarbonate my lens is not glass my lens is plastic so i will put that setting right now the lens size is at 1.00 in plus direction but i want my new blank right exactly at the same size as my pattern so i will come at zero right so zero and now my all settings are fine and now i will put the start button as you can see the lens is grinding at the edge of the 
wheel. If you want to come the lens over here, you can press the button. Because we are making a full frame, the setting of the machine is at full frame, so the lens will cut accordingly. And as you can see, the lens is moving as the pattern. And now you can see the bevel is over there. This is called because the lens is moving at that depression line and that depression line is for the bevel of the lens. The bevel of the lens is for so we can put the lens in the full frame accurately. And this is finishing bevel. The lens will be more and more smooth and the edges of the lens will be more smooth now you see the lens is ready and the machine is automatically at its rest position and now we will put our lens out first you have to put it here you have to grip your lens and then you will press this chuck button now your lens is released now as you can see this is excess line and this is the metal line the alignment is the same so there is no any chance to change the axis right and as you can see the pattern this is pattern the dummy lens and this is the real blank both of them have the same size and the same shape and now we will remove this blocker and we will put this lens in the frame so if you remember the axis of this lens was 70 axis right and someone asked me a question in the comment box that uh, how can we fix this axis the 70 axis in a frame so this is not the right frame for this lens i have misplaced the frame actually but this is just for the sake of learning remember whatever your axis are the, your axis could be 70 your axis could be 80 your axis could be 90 your axis could be from 0 to 180 from 1 to 180 so whatever your axis are you have to put your axis in this fashion right these are 70 axis in the lens but you have to keep this lens at 180 meridian axis are 70 but you have to put this lens at 180 meridian or horizontal meridian it doesn't mean that if your axis are 90 then you have to put this lens like this because this is 90 axis right and if your axis are 180 then you have to put like this right whatever your axis are you have to put your axis line in 180 direction right in horizontal fashion in horizontal meridian right your axis are 60 if the axis are 60 you have to put like this your axis are 70 you have to put like this your axis are 180 you have to put like this right you will mark the axis on lensometer right whatever the axes are 70 60 80 180 170 whatever axes are you have to put the axis in 180 meridian like this in the spectacles right so this is very tough job to do but as an optometrist and being an optometrist you must have some extraordinary skills regarding the dispensing and optical lab as well so we will see you in the next videos